In this video, I'll share with you seven tips and tricks on how you can make some better videos using your smartphone, but also your professional camera. Let's get started. Before we start with this tutorial, click the link below this video to download Filmora. Pick whether you have a Windows or a Mac computer and then just click on the free download button. A free Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just unpack it, then it will do its thing and you are ready to get started. But now let's go back to the tutorial. The first tip that I have for you is to lock your focus and the exposure. On smartphones, you can do this just by long pressing on the screen and on regular cameras, just hop into the manual mode and then there won't be any changes during your recording, which will automatically make your videos look much more professional and less amateur. The second tip is to use the right settings and there are no right or wrong settings, but here are some of the settings that I'm recommending for getting the best results possible. When it comes to resolution, shoot in 4K, most smartphones, most regular cameras these days are capable of shooting in 4K. When it comes to frame rates, if you have a talking head like we have right now, then shoot in 24 frames per second. And if you're capturing some B-roll, then make sure to shoot those at 60 frames. When it comes to shutter speed, make sure that it's twice your frame rate and white balance, of course, needs to be adjusted depending on your environment that you're in. The third tip that I have for you is make sure to use natural lighting. I'm here in a studio environment and I can control the light, but if you don't have anything like this, then make sure to use natural lighting. Go close to windows, and just use the natural lights that you have and don't fight against it. The next tip that I have for you is to plan your shoots ahead. The better you plan your videos, the easier the shooting process and also the easier the editing process will be as you do not have to, you know, come up with ideas and trying to find, you know, different spots. If you plan your videos, you know, the easier it will just be overall in the shooting and then also in the editing process. And in the end, you will also get a better result in the end. So before you start shooting, plan your videos. The next tip I have for you is to capture steady footage. I think there is nothing more annoying than having shaky and wobbly images. You can do this first of all, just by using a tripod. You can also use something like a three axis stabilizer. This will be, you know, the next level. So you can also get some moving shots that are looking stable. And if you're shooting handheld, then make sure to turn on the image stabilizer. The next tip that I have for you is to capture clean audio. As you can see, my microphone is super close to my mouth and this is why you can hear me super close clearly. There are a bunch of different cheap options out there that you can get for around about $100. The most important thing is that your microphone, that your source is super close to the mouth of the subject. And last but not least is shoot to edit. We have already talked very briefly about, you know, planning your shoots ahead, but actually by the time you are filming, then always keep the edit in the back of your mind. Again, the better you plan your videos. If you even have a shot list or something like this, then it will be even easier. But also if you don't have this, then always Always keep the edit in your mind. Make sure to think about transitions, for example. Make sure to think about the overall story that you want to tell. And then in the end, the final video will just be so much better. But there you have it. These are my top seven tips for making great videos with your smartphone, with your professional cameras. If you have more questions, make sure to let us know and I'll see you in the next one.